Today is a very important day in the stock market. It's battery day. For those of you who don't know what battery day it is, it's going to be Elon Musk's uh, center stage appearance to where he's going to explain what's going to happen relative to the batteries for the cars of the future. I think it's fair to say, and I don't think you'll get any argument from anybody, that electric vehicles are the, the future. Autonomous vehicles are the future. And Tesla is far ahead of anybody in this category. And you also need to know that uh, of the cars sold in the world today, only 4% of the cars sold are electric vehicles at this point. So it's, it's at its infancy. As I was thinking about this last night, I was thinking it's kind of like when Edison uh, discovered the light bulb um, or when Tesla um, dis discovered electricity as well as Edison. It, it took a while for it to, uh, to, to, to move on beyond the discovery. But we're in a different era now. A discovery can move very, very fast. And I think that being recognized, um, Tesla stock's gotten way ahead of what its intrinsic value is, but it's because people recognize what the impact that the electric vehicle is going to have on um, our economy and the world economy. But I think if that's what you're thinking about, you're overlooking the real profits. The real profits in what Elon Musk and Tesla are doing are not in the car sales. It's, it's in the battery sales. The battery is going to change the way we live. And as you know, that's very important to me. I want to buy stocks that in companies that are going to change the way I live. Um, the battery and, and, and Elon are way ahead of everybody else. And therefore, they are going to put the car business, the uh, ICE uh, internal, internal combustion engine business, is going to become a thing of the past. And I, to emphasize this, that the, the battery is the real moneymaker, is... Look in the past, in the auto industry, who made more money, Exxon or General Motors and Ford? Exxon did. They, they, they were on the S&P forever. They just recently got removed. Um, so the money is in the battery. And once you understand that, then you can kind of understand where Tesla is going. Let's talk a little bit about the battery. Bloomberg's put out a piece on the cost of a battery. The cost of a battery is measured in the number of kilowatt hours that battery can produce for propulsion of the automobile, much like a tank of gasoline. So in 2010, the cost per kilowatt hour was $1,100. In 2020, that's down to 156, and it's projected that it's going to be at $100 by 2025, when we will reach the probably the the point where rather than four percent of the automobiles on the highway, it's going to cross over the 50 percent mark of uh, uh, cars on the highway. What this bringing down the cost of the battery will do will bring down the cost of the automobile. So it's it's potentially possible that this new advanced vehicle will actually be cheaper than an internal combustion engine automobile of, of similar, similar quality, similar features, whatever. And then you have the added benefit as a owner of that vehicle that you're not showing up at a gas station on a regular basis. You may be showing up at some point to recharge, but and we don't know what that's going to cost, but we don't think it's going to be the equivalent of gasoline. If Tesla now is not only leading in the automotive end, but they're also leading in the battery end, it's realistic to believe that they will be selling batteries to anyone else who is making electric automobiles. Because again, they're so far ahead of everybody else in this technology. So I don't think that Ford and and General Motors and uh, BMW and Mercedes 
and Volkswagen are going to go away. Now, I think some other automobiles will go away, but they're all going to need to be buying a battery from somebody. And it's logical to assume that they aren't going to go through all the technology and all the buildup that Elon and Tesla has gone through. So Tesla will become the source for batteries, not only for the, the Tesla cars, but for any and every other car. Now, the other element that that comes in is when you want to buy a battery for your home to replace the electric company and potentially the gas company that has, is supplying you with electricity and gas, and you want to go to a solar charge battery that will be about the size of your current furnace and make that a part of your home, you're probably going to be buying that battery from Tesla as well. So can you see now we're not only just talking about automobiles. We're talking about the supply of energy to virtually anything and everything that has been using electricity, gas, or gasoline, or diesel fuel in the past. That is an enormous industry. Now, you add to that then what I think is going to potentially be talked about today at Battery Day, and that is the million mile battery. What does that mean? Well, let me ask you, how many miles do you expect to get out of your internal combustion engine automobile? Probably not a million miles. Now, is it realistic to think that you will be buying a car and you drive 12,000 miles or 20,000 miles a year and you're going to keep that same car for a million miles. Probably not. Probably not. But there's a, that, that presents a couple possibilities. One is that when you buy your new car, you just move your battery over to it. So now you're buying a car for substantially less because you don't have to put a new battery in it. Or there is a trade-in value, even though your car is no longer worth a whole lot. Your battery, maybe you have only put uh, 250,000 miles on your battery. So you have, what, three times that life left in that battery. So you have something to sell or to move over to your next automobile. So, again, this is a major change in how we think about automobiles. The next element of this is the autonomous element and how Tesla has been gathering millions and millions of miles of experience to create an autonomous automobile. Now, the studies have shown that that autonomous automobile is going to be 90% safer than the one you're driving currently. And why is that? Because you're currently driving it. And you fiddle around on your phone and you fiddle around on your radio and you, you reach in the back seat for whatever and you, you supervise your kids and you get distracted. And distraction is the cause of probably 90% of the automobile accidents in the world. Or maybe you fall asleep. I remember when I was a college student and waking up, going down a highway, hearing a... And as I was facing a semi in my Austin Healy Sprite, Kerry wouldn't have been here if he hadn't woken up that day. So they're going to take that Kerry's tendency to fall asleep when he drives um, away from him. So that is a major change in the way automobiles are going to be functioning. So what does that mean to you today? Well, if in fact a autonomous automobile is and that's a Tesla uh, and and maybe they're selling that 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 knowledge and, and I suspect they will if they have all this data on all these highways and General Motors need, has a body for a Cadillac, and it needs a battery for that body, who do you think they're going to buy that battery from? And then, wait a second, they want it to be an autonomous automobile. Who has the software to do that? Who has the data to make that happen? Wait a second. What the hell is Tesla making automobiles for? They've got data. They've got, they've, they've got the battery. 
Can you see where this is going? This isn't about cars. This has not. Yes, it does have something to do about cars, but that's where it's going. Now, I now have my BMW that is not autonomous, and I have a 90% more probability to have an accident than uh, 50% of the people who have an autonomous motor. What do you think is going to happen to my insurance rates? Eventually, my wife, who has a, a what is it, a 06 Porsche, she isn't going to be able to insure that car out on the road. It, 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 it will be something that will sit in our garage, and we'll have a trailer that we can take it to antique auto shows. Or maybe we can take it to Barrett's auction and some baby boomer will want to buy it from us. The auto industry is going to change. And the most important day currently in what's going to happen in the auto industry is today. It is battery day. Expect him also to talk about battery density. What does that mean? Well, rather than a battery this big, remember those batteries we used to have this big? that used to power our flashlights. Now we have these AAA batteries that are tiny and they have a different kind of bulb in there. And now we have a battery, or a, 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 a flashlight that we can carry in our pocket. That's what they're doing with these new batteries. He's going to talk probably about battery density and then he's going to want, mention the word airplane. That's right. He's going to talk about building a battery that will have enough power enough, and create enough thrust that you can fly a small airplane with it. Okay, now let's go back to Uber in the first chapter of this book when they talk about flying cars. Flying cars, wow, that would take me to Atlanta with four other people and it would be powered by a battery. Get this book, read the first chapter, and then connect the dots. Flying cars that I can fly to Atlanta, 150 miles away, get out downtown in what used to be an office building that, ha that uh, Google used to be in, but now all Google people are working in their, their homes. But we land on the top of that building, and I get in an Uber car that's powered by a battery. You get in the picture? Tomorrow, today, is a big day because it's battery day. Now, maybe that battery can power a train. Wow. Maybe it can. Now I want to give you a stock tip. Uh, a stock that I, I think I'm going to look at as a stock of the future. Never would have looked at it before. And then I read this article this weekend in uh, the Wall Street Journal. Um, the incredible shrinking of GM. Read this article, and you're going to find that their new president, CEO, Mary Barra, traveled around Europe and Asia and started selling off their assets in many foreign countries because she's shrinking General Motors. She's bringing it down to a manageable company that can make bodies of electric cars. Guess who she's going to buy her batteries from? Guess. Go ahead, guess. Yeah. I think, Gen and General Motors is selling for $31 a share. I don't know that I'd buy it today. I don't know if I'd buy it next week. But I'm going to look real hard at it after the first of this year. After we get past this coronavirus. There Tesla is not going to be the only vehicle on the highway. As I said, General Motors, Ford, BMW, Mercedes aren't going away. Volkswagen, they aren't going away. They will still be in the business of manufacturing automobiles. But much like they weren't in the business of manufacturing gasoline, to propel their automobiles, they probably won't be in the business of manufacturing the batteries that are going to propel their automobiles. So I believe today is going to be an exciting day. We've seen Tesla's volatility even yesterday. Um, I don't know if the, the rumor is bigger than the, the news. I don't know if it'll go up or down, but I want to own it. 
And I, I don't want to own it for the price it is today or tomorrow or next week. I want to own it for the price it's going to be five years from now. I want to own this. And I want to say, be able to smile and say, yeah, I figured it out way back there in uh, September of uh, 2020. That's when I figured it out. Or maybe you figured it out several years earlier. So battery day, best of us investors. You want to become a part of our tribe? Uh, sign up here at bestofusinvestors.com. Uh, you'll get my morning letter. I put out a morning letter every morning and where I share what I'm doing. You'll also get access to my Twitter account. I put a tweet out every morning. Donald Trump and I do, but I do mine in video. I'm more adapt to it. And then you'll also find a link to our um, our, our Discord. And that's where the tribe meets. That's where the tribe meets every day and exchanges ideas and we learn together. We're putting on classes about retirement, about financial planning, about options. So if you want to become one of the best of us investors, and, I'm, and I want that to be a label that you wear, you're one of the best of us investors, just go to bestofusinvestors.com and join our tribe. We just passed 50,000, and we got our sights on 1 million. So come play with us.